see that we have a couple of people in and it looks like we're waiting on one other person before we dive in. I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen really quickly so everyone can see my face. Welcome everyone. It's good to have you all here. And I'll, I'm just gonna give it um, uh, maybe a couple more minutes. Uh, I don't know how many people are registered, um, but I wanna give it a couple more minutes before we go ahead and dive in. Uh, just as a reminder, we will be talking about the booking module today. Inside the booking module, there is um, many sessions as well as um, workflow, uh, workshops. I always <laughs> workshop. <laughs> I mean, you know, they call me Mexican. You can ask her. That's All right. I'm sure they speak Mexican. <laughs> they, speak like that. <laughs> they speak Mexican. Okay, just a few. Um, maybe I'll give it one more minute. Uh, now we're up to four. I think that's a pretty good number. It's also streaming on Facebook, which is good. And I'll go ahead and share my screen now. Okay. Uh, so once again, uh, today's webinar is about the booking module. Uh, the booking module is an add-on, uh, so it is not included with the uh, regular ShootQ subscription. Um, if you're paying annually, it's $90 for the year. If you're paying monthly, it's $10 per month. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump in by clicking um, booking. And so I have a few things here. I'm gonna start with um, mini sessions. Um, mini sessions and workshops are actually what this module was designed for. Although we, all, we have had some users ask about things like um, consultations um, and it's absolutely fine to use it for that. But I'm just gonna jump in here And I'm going to take a look at one of the mini sessions I've created. Mainly because I already have information in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and click edit. And it brings the form up. And this is what it looks like when you're creating a mini session. Uh, so at the top, you'll give your mini session a name. You're going to go ahead and choose or assign the job type. And this is important. Um, especially if you're attaching a workflow. Uh, you'll add your location. You can add a description here. Um, the majority of mini sessions I see or I've come across are somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. So there's a 15, 30, and you know, the other 15 minute increments. But if you're having a 20 minute uh, mini session, you can enter uh, custom time uh, in this custom minute uh, field. And then you can add a buffer between sessions. Uh, so when you're creating your mini session, you're going to choose your start date. And I'm just going to bump this back to at least today. And then you'll enter an end date. And within that date range down below, you're going to choose the days of the week you're available. You'll add a start time and an end time. And since we are nearing our later days, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this back to about 5.30. And you'll notice uh, I have two lines of timing. Um, my first start time is at 11 and ends at 12.30. And then I, there's a break between 12.30 and 1.30. This is ideal if you want to you know, schedule a lunch in your day or something like that. And then uh, the end time for the full day is at 5.30. Uh, 
If I wanted to add another period, I could do that here. Uh, next up, we have blackout calendars. So I have integrated a Google calendar with this account. And if I wanted to, I could use my Google calendar uh, as a blackout calendar so that no, um, so that this mini session doesn't happen at the time of any of my personal events or any events being pulled from that external calendar. Um, so with that being integrated, I can um, choose which calendars from that Google calendar I want to factor in for my availability. So I'm here, this would be my personal event. So this would be my, um, my Google Calendar itself. Uh, those events added directly into that calendar. I've also added my ShootQ, the booked jobs from my ShootQ account to that Google Calendar. So um, my mini sessions also will not interfere with anything that I've booked, like any family sessions, any portrait sessions, engagements, weddings, seniors, those type of normal um, sessions that I have booked in shoot queue uh, won't interfere with my mini sessions. I've set a price to $200 and the reservation time is 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I, there's a question, Mike. No, no question. Okay. Um, and by the way, um, I will, we will have time for questions at the end. Uh, so, and you guys will be more than welcome to answer the, uh, to ask those questions then. Um, there are two merchant accounts integrated in this account that I'm using. And so I, of those two, I've selected Stripe. Um, and just by the way, we have, we integrate with five. I don't know if anybody on the call is um, not a ShootQ user or not familiar with ShootQ, um, but we also integrate with Authorize.net, Braintree, and PayPal Payments Pro. So I've selected Stripe. I've uploaded an image to go along with this mini session. I'm gonna send out this booking confirmation email to everyone who books and that goes out pretty immediate. I've also added a contract. And if I needed to add sales tax to um, these sessions, then I would be able to add my um, sales tax template here. When the sessions are booked, I'm gonna have ShootQ create a job for me. Now you don't have to do that. Um, why I like to do that is because um, when a job is created, I can attach a workflow. That way I'm firing off reminder emails and um, questionnaires and things like that. I also have the box check to have a comment field on my, um, uh, when they're booking their job. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click create. When you've created your mini session or your workflow, um, after it's done, you're gonna get a link. You can share that link wherever you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy link here. And we'll take a look at what clients will see when they visit that page. So you can put this on um, your Facebook, your, um, your you know, blog, email blast, wherever you wanna put it. All right, so visitors will see a page similar to this. I have all of the details uh, at the top. And then down below is where they're going to choose their date and time. And as you can see, there are some dates and um, times blocked off and that's coming from um, my blackout calendar. So once they go ahead and choose their date and time, they'll fill out that information. After clicking reserve, my 30 minute timer begins. So now I have 30 minutes to complete this process. So I can take the time I need and I've just got a notification. So I have just now received the um, email that was scheduled to go out to everyone who books. Uh, so I can take my time to read the contract.
and then sign the contract. There's also an option to download the contract. When the contract is downloaded, it's downloaded as a PDF. So I'll go ahead and sign and now I can make my payment. I'm not Kiana right now, I'm Sarah. So just so you know, uh, there is an error message that comes up if there, uh, for some reason that payment doesn't work. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of the full effect of what that looks like for the client. That time's also blocked off. If for some reason the client chooses a time, clicks reserve, and within that 30 minute time frame, they do not complete the booking process ShootQ will void their appointment and make it available to someone else. I'll click refresh here so that we see what it looks like on our end when someone books. Uh, so we have their information. It's also created a job. That job name is their last name and then the name of that mini session. So I'm gonna jump over to their job. It's created a job that's already active. And when I go to my timeline, I can see that mini, that mini session workflow that's already attached. There's a reminder email being sent. I have a task ready to be checked off and an email that's going to be sent when this task is marked complete. And that's all part of my workflow. In the documents, I can see that there's a contract. It's pending my signature. So I'll go ahead and countersign that contract. There's an invoice that's created. I'll go ahead and open that up. And this is what the invoice looks like. And let's just say the client contacted me say, hey, you know, um, I did make my payment. I wanted to give you a check or money order or cash or pay you when we met or whatever. Um, and I wanted to make a, a manual payment to this contract. I, um, sorry, the invoice. I can click pay here. And from here, I can pay with a card if they're giving me their card information over the phone or in person or I can choose to make a manual payment and let's just go ahead and put in a check. And we're all set. And at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up to questions. Anybody have any questions about the booking module um, or uh, uh, any questions in general? And while I'm waiting on questions, I do have um, a workshop that I'll go ahead and review too. Uh, the workshop is pretty much the same. There aren't many differences. One difference with the workshop is I can choose the number of slots or spots Will this be recorded for viewing later? Yes, it's uh, being recorded now and we will make it uh, available for viewing later. Absolutely. Okay, and so um, I have five spots. You're welcome, Dwayne. <laughs> um, five spots available and then the spot limit um, for anyone who books, they are able to book 
one, one spot at a time. Um, and aside from that, everything is pretty much the same um, with that available spots difference with my workflow. Um, but I will go ahead and copy link and we can take a look at uh, workshop. I said workflow again. Uh, and so this is what it looks like for the workshop. I have one with a picture. Let me, uh, is this the one with a picture? Ah, there we go. And so that's what this looks like. Any other questions? You can put your questions in the chat or you can um, unmute yourself and ask your questions that way. Don't be shy. <laughs> no, no questions. Okay, um, I also wanted to let you guys know that um, the next workshop, um, work webinar, <laughs> all of my W words, I'm getting them all mixed up. Uh, the next webinar is gonna be focused on um, financial information. So uh, invoicing, uh, billing, automatic payments, those are the types of things that are coming. Uh, I hope to see you all again. Uh, spread the word if you have, um, if you know anyone else who would like to join us, or maybe you know somebody who's considering ShootQ and they would like to sit in on a webinar and get a look at what the software looks like and how things work, please invite them. No? Any more questions? Okay, well, um, I think it's safe to go ahead and wrap it up. We thank everyone for their time and we will follow up uh, via email with the link for the recording. All right, you guys, thanks for coming again and have a great day.